Shot Gang, today I'll be doing a pros and cons about my Canon Power Shot SX740 HS. But before we get into this video, I would love for you to like. I don't care if you comment, just make sure you subscribe and turn that post notification so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on both my TikTok and my Instagram at ShineDollarNay. The links will be in the description box down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on my nail Instagram at NailedByShineLanae. The link to that will also be in the description box down below. Now that I gave you that information, we can go ahead and get into this video. Quick thing, I know I was supposed to post three times a week. I'm going to lower it down to two times a week because I've been going through a lot lately and I have not been able to post as consistent as I plan to. And I do have a lot of videos in mind that i am going to post two times a week i just wanted to get that out there really quickly anyway go check out my video if you haven't seen it basically i did a video with me unboxing my canon power shot sx740 hs i'll link it in the description box and i'll also make sure to put it in the icard as well i got my camera in november when i purchased my camera it cost me $430.92 on Amazon. At the time, this was my dream camera. Kind of still is, but I wouldn't mind getting the Canon G7X Mark II. Because I'm not going to lie, I wanted that at first. Like when I first started looking into cameras, that's the first camera that I really wanted. But I felt like the Canon PowerShot SX740HS had more features. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with this particular camera. There's honestly a lot of things that have pros and cons. But that doesn't make something a bad quality product or item. Like I said, there's always good and bad to something. But I truly believe that it's based on personal preferences. During Vlogmas, I was using it. I believe I slowed down the usage of me using my camera around the time when I bought my iPhone 13. But I completely stopped using it near the end of December. Based off the fact that I didn't use my camera as much, I don't think I'll have a lot of pros and cons. Just to throw that out there. Also, I forgot to mention that my camera does come with a app, which I'll link in in the description box down below as well first i want to start by saying that i really like the way the camera looks it has a little grip cushion and i like the design of it when the lens is closed it films in 4k i think any content creator would enjoy a camera that gives them the option to film in 4k because i know i do it has a viewfinder although that could be a distraction when filming because i always tend to look into the viewfinder when i should be looking into the lens although i don't take pictures besides the thumbnail pictures that i take i still feel like it takes really good pictures it has 40 times optical zoom which means that it zooms in a lot or in other words you could say that it zooms in from a really far distance if that makes sense like i announced earlier it does come with an app that you can use which i really like but that'll be one of my main cons the app allows you to upload videos from your camera to your phone without having the sd adapter piece i believe those are all my pros now let's get into the cons the Canon app itself is like my biggest con. The app is overall good, but it just uploads the videos from your camera to your phone so slow. That's like the only problem that I have with the app. Don't get me wrong, I do like the quality of the camera. I just feel like it could be better. This is just my personal opinion based off of my personal experience with my camera. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the quality of the camera. In fact, you can adjust your filming settings to your liking for a better quality, such as your filters, your brightness, brightness and etc. The reason I say that is because the quality isn't as clear as I would expect it to be. When filming in 4k I will expect it to be genuinely clear although to me it isn't really that clear or in other words it doesn't give me that 4k quality feel. Another con that I have is that when filming in 4k it could possibly take up a lot of space on your phone which can cause you to film in lower quality and can also prevent you from uploading your videos from your camera to your phone. I guess it's it just depends on how much storage you have but i think those are my only cons overall i genuinely adore my camera also if you're watching this video because you're considering to buy the canon powershot sx740 hs like i said earlier in the video it's all based on personal preferences this is just my opinion from my personal experience with my camera your experience could possibly be completely different and without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed this video but before i end this video i decided to give you a quick reminder that i would love for you to like i don't care if you comment just make sure you subscribe and turn that post notification so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video and don't forget to follow me on both my tiktok and my instagram at shine Lene. also don't forget to follow me on my nail instagram at nail by shine Lene. the link to that will be in the description box down below but until the next video i am out Thank you.